Hey everybody, it's Greg from Rev, and I'm really excited today to share a little bit of a more in-depth look at some of the new features inside of our brand new motor and motor controller, the Spark Flex and the Neo Vortex. One of the core features of the Flex and the Vortex is their dockable design. So you no longer have individual wire connections for individual phases and the motor sensor cable. Those are all done directly by docking the motor and the motor controller together. This aids you with really much simpler wiring on your robot because you only have to worry about power and signal, but it also preserves the ability that if either one of these products needs to get replaced over time, you can replace only the one that, that needs to be replaced without the entire cost of the entire unit. One of the core functionality of this motor is that it's got a complete through-bore design. So as it comes, the motor has a half-inch hex bore, so you can take any half-inch hex shaft that you probably already have in your shaft and use it for the shaft of the motor. It goes completely through, and so you can put a shaft of any length out this motor. Now, while that's great and flexible, for some applications, you need a higher degree of precision as a hex shaft will have a little bit of backlash there. So what we've done is we've added a taper functionality to the front of the motor. So any of our custom shafts that we've made for those high precision applications feature the half inch hex to do the actual torque drive, but also this taper section, so this self-centers. This is very similar to what they use on a milling machine that you might also have in your shop. And you can put those in, the taper will directly center it, and then you'll use one of our shaft retention screws on the back side to draw that taper in, giving you an incredible connection that is also very self-centered and just as precise as if this shaft was integrated into the motor at full time. So for these custom application shafts, what we're doing is we're launching a few of these to start, and we'll be able to add more as teams need them for different applications. So we have the eight millimeter with a keyway shaft. This is the same as the original Neo in the SIM motor. We have a custom shaft for our Max Swerve customers that integrate the key directly into the shaft, so there's no more keyway that you have to worry about. We have a spline shaft that's compatible with Falcon motor accessories. We also have a 7 tooth 20 dp gear pinion. This is the smallest pinion uh, direct to motor that has ever happened on a um, on a motor of this uh, power, allowing you to do really large reductions in a single stage. And then lastly, we also have a special shaft designed for the Max Planetary, which eliminates the need for the cup, and this will just directly connect to the spline on the back of the Max Planetary. Now, one of the other things that I think is important to to point out when you talk about the Max Planetary is the size of this motor. So we work to make sure that the face-to-face -face of this is actually two inches. So this will hide behind a regular one by two, but when you have a gearbox like a Max Planetary, that means it's completely flush, allowing this to integrate onto your robot and fit in places that other motors of this power would never have fit before. The next thing I want to highlight is some of the new features of the Spark Flex motor controller. We've taken everything that we've learned and run for years with the Spark Max motor controller, and we've improved upon them in many ways. We've kept features like the USB-C communication so that you can update and drive things in real time. We've kept things like CAN and PWM communication, um, but we've also made some core improvements one of them being reverse polarity protection, so no longer will one small wiring move mess up the actual motor controller itself. Um, we've also integrated the CAN wires, so you don't have to worry about a connector with them coming unplugged during it. And then the last thing I want to highlight here is actually our new and improved data port. We know that people love the data port on the Spark Max because you have direct access to things like limit switches, encoders, or external sensors. Well, we have all of that covered on this one, but we're also adding the ability to communicate through some additional external interfaces on this data port connector that'll become available with a future update. With the enhanced data port, the additional functionality that we've added, we've also changed the connector to a brand new locking style connector so that you don't have to worry about anything coming unplugged during a match. 
with these functionality improvements, um, we think that you're going to love the next generation of REV motor controls. Compatibility with the existing products in your team's shop is something that we think a lot about when we're designing products at REV. So in addition to the new motor and motor controller combo, we've also created the ability for this to be driven backwards compatible. So if you, in the same form factor as the brand new motor controller, we have an adapter. The adapter mounts to the top of the motor, but allows you to have the connections that are required to drive this directly with a Spark Max. So you'll notice instead of the two power wires, you get the, the three phase wires, and instead of where the CAN wires would be coming out, you'll have a six pin data cable for the sensors that are needed to drive this motor. So if you're interested in the mechanical capabilities of the new motor, you can do it and still drive it with a Spark Max instead of buying both motors and motor controllers together. This allows you to stretch your team's budget uh, the best you can and also allows you to customize this for whatever suits your team. We are also going to be launching at a later date a dock so that you can take the brand new Spark Flex and mount that so that this can then drive any of the other brushless motors in the Neo family as well as your brushed motors anywhere on your robot. So ultimately you'll have four quadrants of, of control by adding these new products, we keep the family of motor and motor control products um, and the continuum of Rev, Neo, and Spark products together. And then you can pick the solution which suits your team's robot needs, but also your team's budget. We hope that you're as excited as we are for the new additions to the Spark and Neo family of motor and motor controllers. As we approach the, the next season, we're going to be introducing a whole bunch of more information and detailing the Spark Flex and the Neo Vortex, and we look forward to seeing what you build with them. Thanks.